MTL novel, chapter 5, Lin, since I don't need oxygen, why don't you just? I made scientific magic chapter 5, Lin, since I don't need oxygen, why don't you just? Chapter 5 Lin, since I don't need to inhale oxygen, everyone should stop inhaling it. A dozen or so breaths ago, Lin, whose neck was clamped, entered an extremely strange state. All the pain seemed to be disappearing quickly, and instead, the brain's thinking activity increased several times. For a moment Lin wondered if he had traveled to the afterlife. However, no, he could still clearly feel that the blood and oxygen flow to the brain were forcibly blocked, and his body was gradually losing vitality. Before long, I will really die. Faced with such a dangerous situation, Lin En was unexpectedly unable to feel any panic. How to fight back when someone strangles the neck and suffocates due to lack of oxygen? Of course an eye for an eye, an eye for an eye. Since I don't need to inhale oxygen, everyone should stop inhaling it. Lin En sensed the smoky sea of elements in the void, and with a thought, he used mental power as a net to engulf active oxygen molecules and pull them away instantly. What happens when a person is in a hypoxic environment and still breathing? Andre is the best example. A large amount of ineffective gas poured into the lungs, and the blood pressure rose rapidly. In just a few breaths, the symptoms of hypoxia appeared. Lin was keenly aware that the palms that clamped him were showing signs of loss of strength. It's now. Lin opened his eyes abruptly. Based on previous memories, the positions and reactions of everyone in the room flooded into his mind as data. Lin was even able to give himself under a very detailed force analysis of the neck. Countless and complicated data were sorted out in an instant, and Lin and constructed a 100% restored three-dimensional scene in his mind, and deduced the best sword-out plan. Raise your hand and stab straight, at a 47-degree angle. Lin and raised his arm and stabbed out the dagger synchronously. The tower-like man in front of him completely lost the ability to resist under the strong hypoxia reaction, and could only watch helplessly as the tip of the sword pierced his neck. The fragile neck obviously couldn't block the sharp dagger, and the scarlet blood spurted out like a fountain, splashing on Lin's clothes and face. Andre's eyes were wide open, his mouth opened and closed unconsciously, his hands tightly covered the big hole in his neck that was constantly spurting blood. And he fell down full of fear and unwillingness. Lin En didn't hesitate, and the moment he broke free from the restraint, he kicked Andre's body, kicking the body to Blaney who was stunned aside, and then he recoiled out of the hypoxic field. Blaney didn't expect the situation on the field to be reversed suddenly. A look of astonishment appeared on his face, and his reaction was a bit slow. He subconsciously took Andre's body, and after seeing the death of the other party clearly, the pupils shrunk involuntarily, and a chill rushed from the soles of his feet to his heart. The bruised face, black red lips, and dilated pupils all proved that Andre was pierced through the neck unsuspectingly because he suddenly fell into suffocation. How can that be? Blaney was terrified. It was clear that Andre was pinching Lin's neck before, but he was suffocated inexplicably. Could this be some kind of strange spell that hurts the enemy? Lin and panted regularly, and quickly regained the vitality of his limbs. He was locked by his neck for up to a minute, and the forced manipulation of a large amount of oxygen caused his brain to feel a little tingling. Although he used the principle of suffocation to kill one of them by chance, Lin and didn't dare to relax in the slightest. The short fight just now made him understand the gap between the two sides. According to the memories in my mind, these witch hunters are elites with extraordinary skills. Yuan's swordsmanship was good enough to deal with a few bandits, but it was not enough to face the witch hunters sent by the Holy See. All kinds of thoughts flashed through Lin's mind, and then the notification sound resounded. Warning, in overload mode, the system energy consumption is rapid, and it is expected to be forced to shut down in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Lin En's body couldn't help but paused, and then he realized that his sudden increase in control over the elements was due to the help of his brain. Then, dot try the magic. Lin En's eyes were fixed, and he tightly held the blood-stained dagger in his hand, and his mental power spread again in the air, crazily capturing hydrogen and oxygen elements. A ball of water emerged in the void, and then quickly condensed into shape. One ring of magic, blade of ice. The ice blade that was radiating the cold air was like an arrow leaving the string. Blaney's expression was concentrated, and he didn't choose to face it head-on. However, it was just this moment of pause, the preparations for casting the spell were completed, the grey powder was suspended in Lin's palm, and then exploded into a hot fireball. That is another ring of magic that Lin has mastered, fireball. The temperature in the room suddenly rose. It is also a ring of magic, but the power of, fireball, is much stronger than that of, ice blade. The most important thing is that there is no way to avoid this small house. Blaney smelled the smell of death, kicked on the broken cabinet, slammed it into the tyrannical fireball, then turned Andre's body over and covered himself as a meat shield. The next moment, the fireball hit the shattered cabinet and exploded violently. The scorching flames immediately filled the entire room. Lin and stared at the scattered smoke and dust in front of him, breathing hard. He had no exact idea of the power of a ring of magic, but from the perspective of effect, it would not be weaker than a grenade plus incendiary bombs. If you don't die, you will be seriously injured. Just as he was thinking, a sharp long sword cut through the misty smoke and dust, and the blade of the sword reflected the light of the fire and slashed straight at Lin En. This sword was surprisingly fast, and when Lin realized it, the sharp long sword was close at hand. Fortunately, at this moment, thanks to the connection between the neural network and the intellectual brain, Lin En's reaction speed has increased several times. And his body coordination ability has also been greatly improved. His right hand holds the sword horizontally, and his left hand rests on his right wrist. His figure is slightly lower. Foo! The tip of the sword propped on the mottled wall beside him. Dang tilde a sharp and unpleasant muffled sound echoed in the narrow room. When the two came into contact, Lin En only felt a sharp pain in his tiger's mouth. Slender cracks. Good weight. This feeling was the only thing left in Lin's mind, and then he dropped his sword with both hands, sank down to the ground, and narrowly escaped the whip kick with a few rolls. The sharp sound of the wind passed over the head, followed by another muffled sound. Lin turned his head and looked over, and saw that the mottled wall had been kicked out of a groove. The force on the wall is about 1.75 tons, and there is a 65% probability that it was hit by a bison. The momentary data analysis flashed in his mind, and Lin's pupils shrank. If he was kicked in the front, his internal organs would definitely burst. Body modification, cyborg, fighting, Lin En knew very well that a normal person, even after the most scientific professional training, would never be able to kick such a terrifying force. This is completely beyond the limits of the human body. End of this chapter.